Here Jordan from Project Cheap has installed the inner fender on the passenger side and he's tried to hide most of the wiring. This is a really good deal for me because I didn't want to have any of the wiring showing on this. I'm going to have the truck intake on this thing at first so I didn't want to have it any uglier than it really needed to be. Here we had a hole in the dash from the original factory air conditioning that we needed to plug up temporarily until I decide whether I'm going to go with a vintage air or some sort of factory air conditioning back again. So he's he's got it uh, riveted shut here and I paint it up a little bit and uh, use the side of it here in a second right now where you're going to see where we put the uh, coolant reservoir for now and that's about it here Jordan is putting the fuel system in we've got a little bit of an issue with the floor because of the fuel pump in the inlets and outlets Alright, here's the brand new fuel tank with the fuel pump in it for the LS. We had a few little problems getting the straps around it because... Of because of how it sat up. So we cut a hole in the floor so it'd be easier for me to access later as well. It's not quite set up yet. It's uh, almost done. The access plate will be right over there so I can get into it a lot easier and not have to take the tank down. Now this is nice. This looks great. Pour 15 on the fuel tank. I did that before it went over to Jordan's. This is more fuel lines. Okay, inline fuel filter is in. It's up high, out of the way. My fancy heat sinks. Done for the transmission and the power steering. He had to make mounts for them. Jordan's a fabricator, so this was probably pretty simple for him. Makes it look so much better when it's done right. Tonight on the Road Hard Roadhouse, it's the Road to Power Tour 2020, part eight, I think. Maybe nine. Part nine. It's been a little while. Coronavirus has knocked out a lot of stuff. I got the vehicle over at uh, Project Cheap, and they are working on it, but he's getting a lot of overtime because the coronavirus is knocking his people out of work, which causes him to end up having to work more, uh, you know, how it works. So, so we're getting stuff done. We're getting a lot of stuff done. 
the fuel system is taken care of, the, uh, the fuel, all the wiring is taken care of, it's all hidden, the fuel system is in, the, both the heat sinks are in, now they're getting plumbed and all that type of stuff, but they both are in, so that takes care of that. It's a lot of stuff that's been done, he's fabricated mounts for these heat sinks. The Roadhard Roadhouse is still planning a Roadhard Roadhouse run on Route 66, and that's from Chicago. And we're going to run this thing all the way to Arizona, the Arizona border. I'd love to get a bunch of y'all to head out with me on the Route 66 with the Road Hard Roadhouse Run. We're sponsored by Speedy's Industrial Coatings. They do powder coating, media blasting, all sorts of stuff. Big or small, they do it all. Tell them the Road Hard Roadhouse sent you.